Hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski. It is a Thursday morning, and it is uh, shortly after 7 o'clock. A warm front is currently pushing northward into northern Kansas. We're already seeing temperatures climb in places like Concordia and Smith Center. This warm front's going to kind of lift to the north and northwest as the day goes on. Winds are going to start to turn more southeasterly and then southerly, and those winds are going to get stronger today, especially south of that boundary we may see some wind gusts 30 to 40 miles per hour some of the strongest winds over southeast nebraska partly to mostly cloudy skies so unfortunately more clouds than sun but hopefully enough sun to help warm things up plus that warmer air mass will help too north of the boundary it won't be as warm today but it will still be a milder day than yesterday's 30s and low 40s so at least it'll be much improved out there but it also won't be as windy in these locations here as we get into this evening especially as we get towards about sundown Along that warm front here, watch for potential thunderstorms to develop. Tri-Cities area, probably going to be too far south. I think these will develop just north of the Tri-Cities, somewhere in here, central Nebraska, and then lift to the northeast. So this area in here has a chance of some strong to severe weather as we head through the evening hours. Lifting out of here after midnight, still a mild windy night out of between the warm front and an approaching cold front. Merging low pressure systems there will then push to the northeast. So it'll be northeast Nebraska at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Trailing cold front right here. This one doesn't have a lot of really cold air with it. It will be milder ahead of it, a little cooler behind it. A break in the clouds for a while. Then as winds turn northwesterly, that starts to draw the colder air in. And it's where this front is. That's where the really cold stuff is going to start to be. Now tomorrow morning, the winds breezy but not too bad. But they are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger as we go through the day on Friday. So let's take you through the morning. Now we're already starting to see some rain changing to freezing rain and snow across northern Nebraska. This is where the bulk of the precipitation will be. But that said, we may see a little bit swing further south, farther south. So we may see a little bit of light rain, maybe a little snow mixed in. By noon tomorrow, it's getting windier out there. Look at these winds out of the west and northwest. They are getting stronger and they will get worse into the afternoon. Watch this through the afternoon hours. I'm going to play this kind of slow here. Let's take you through about 2 or 3 o'clock. Moisture in the Tri-Cities. Rain might try to mix with snow. Might not be cold enough for it, though. But look at the arrows now. Those winds are getting strong tomorrow afternoon. By tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, wind gusts could get up to around 40 to 50 plus miles per hour. We might see some 55 mile an hour wind gusts in some spots. Cold air in the north. A little bit better in the southeast, although these areas are going to see dropping temperatures. And the strongest winds may be here in southeast Nebraska. Meanwhile, snow and blowing snow in northern portions of Nebraska. Those winds blowing the way they'll be, even a light snow could be very difficult to try, drive in in northern Nebraska. But the bulk of the heavier snow looks like it is going to be across South Dakota. This continues into tomorrow evening. Here's midnight Friday night. Snow now moving mainly east of Highway 281. Winds still very strong tomorrow evening. Colder air continues to invade the area. The snow will move out of here shortly after midnight. The system will be gone and out of our hair. The winds breezy but dying down by early Saturday morning. It will turn better Saturday, but it will be a cold start to our day. So let's take a look. First off, let's go back to tonight, this evening, prior, mainly prior to midnight, a small chance of some severe thunderstorms. A marginal risk across north central to northeast Nebraska, large hail would be the main threat with any storms that do develop. And this is primarily after sunrise through about midnight or 1 a.m. Then there's the snow. Right now I'm going to call for one to four inches of snow in northern Nebraska, but the amounts do get higher as you go closer to the South Dakota border. And we may see some exceed six inches closer to the South Dakota border here into the Va Valentine area back towards the Pine Ridge area here. So one to three, maybe four inches of snow, maybe locally higher amounts close to the South Dakota border. But then as you throw in that wind, we're talking about that what could be near whiteout conditions at times. Currently a winter storm watch is in place starting at seven o'clock tomorrow morning and continuing until 1 a.m. Friday night or early Saturday morning. So that's about a, uh, an 18 hour window there. It does include our north central Nebraska viewers in Holt, Brown, Rock, Kippaha, and Boyd County. This will eventually be upgraded probably either to a winter weather advisory, although there is potential that maybe those far northern counties around the Niobrara River, Boyd, Kippaw County could potentially get put into a blizzard warning. It's on the cusp of it right now. If we had heavier snow, 
that would certainly be the case. But with the snow maybe not being quite as heavy in the Nebraska side of things, maybe not quite to the blizzard warning type, type criteria. Now, to the east of us tomorrow, look at this. There's not that much here. You can see it on the edge of the map here, but I want to actually go farther east here. Actually, I'm going to use my little grabber tool and move my map around. Look at this. Big time severe weather threat. Now, the bigger tornado threat looks like it's going to be down in Arkansas, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee area here. That's more of a tornado threat. There is somewhat of a tornado threat in eastern Iowa, but maybe more of a wind, damage and wind threat there in eastern Iowa into western Illinois, northeast Missouri. But uh, yeah, so we're missing out on that here as that storm will be to our east by tomorrow. But uh, the big, the severe weather side of it anyway, the warm weather side of it. Well, on to temperatures for today. We'll see high temperatures rising into the 60s and 70s south of that boundary, 50s to the north and west. It won't, as that warm front doesn't lift all the way to the north. So those areas will be a little bit cooler, although it won't be as windy in those spots. But this is still an improvement even for them compared to yesterday. Tonight, a mild night ahead of the cold front. Eastern Nebraska doesn't drop off too much, 40s and 50s here, maybe near 60, but here comes that colder air. And then highs tomorrow, you see the range in temperatures, but keep in mind, Eastern Nebraska will likely see these as earlier day high temperatures, and then they will drop as we get into the later morning and afternoon. Temperatures may recover a little bit in here after dropping initially. They may get back up into the mid to upper 40s to near 50 and maybe some 50s in Kansas, but the really cold stuff's going to be in northern Nebraska. And then we all get colder tomorrow night and Saturday morning as that system moves on out of here. Lows in the 20s for the most part, but some nice recovery on Saturday. Mid to upper 50s, low to mid 60s for highs with an even better day than anticipated on Sunday. So again, warm, windy conditions, partly to mostly cloudy skies today. Colder tomorrow, a chance of afternoon rain, maybe a flake mixed in, but not much snow expected. Very windy conditions by tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Lighter winds on Saturday as it'll be a cold start, but sunshine to get us back to around 60 degrees. Saturday night, breezy and milder. Sunday, then a warmer day as we get back up close to 70. A little cooler Monday and Tuesday, but those are seasonable temperatures, pretty close to average Monday and Tuesday. I have taken moisture out of the forecast for the Tri-Cities Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like the Tri-Cities area will get dry slotted with the next big storm that's going to come into play here at, during this time. But we'll see the drop in temperatures, we'll see the wind, but the moisture might miss us. Although northern and western portions of the viewing area may get in on snow and blowing snow once again. But the heaviest snows look to be northwest and north of our area. So we'll see the drop in temperatures coming in tomorrow by the middle of the week and then slowly climbing back up as we approach Easter weekend. There's Saturday, the day before Easter, maybe closer to average once again. All right, well, I got to go, but I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Thursday morning. Enjoy the warm-up for today. Don't get blown away, and I'll see you all again on Friday to talk about all the big changes coming for the end of the week. We'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. Bye.